Oh my love You're such a fragile thing I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm it all Hey y'all, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel, and if you've been here before, you'll notice things look a little different. I've talked a little bit about our move, and I'll talk more about it later on in the video, but we are officially moved in, and I got to set up all of my bookshelves. Unfortunately, there's nowhere in this house that I can fit all of my shelves in one spot, so they're a little bit spread out. I have the Billy bookcases from Ikea, and I just got a new one, so now I have four of the wide ones and one skinny one and they are in two different rooms across three different walls but it's okay so basically I have somewhere over 750 books I haven't really counted in a while but last I checked it was like somewhere around 753 so moving them was a nightmare there were 18 boxes they were so heavy and I carried every single one of them into the u-haul and then out of the u-haul and upstairs and I never want to do that again. But as far as how I'm organizing these shelves, I went through a few different ideas before I found one that works. So if you watch this whole video, you'll see me like put books on one shelf and then I move them to a different shelf and then sometimes I move them to a completely different room and I do that a lot. I'm not completely satisfied yet with how they've turned out, but I think it's pretty close and it'll work for now and I will tweak things as we go. I knew for sure that I wanted the shelves in the office where I'm planning to film to be all of my fantasy books. So that's what I wanted my background to be in my videos. So I've got two wide shelves in there and then I've got the two wide shelves in the bedroom that have like thrillers and romance and middle grade and I ended up putting my TBR books on the top of that shelf which I didn't think I wanted to do but that's just how it ended up. Um, and then my skinny shelf has like a bunch of smaller genres. I've got like horror, nonfiction, just books that I don't read as much so they fit on smaller shelves. And then personally I like a lot of decor on my shelves so it was really important to me to have some open spacing so that I could fit plants and little vases and things like that. So that's why I felt like I was filling up the shelves very quickly even though there seems like there's a lot of space. I kind of almost lost space. Um, the shelves or the ceilings here are half a foot shorter than the ceilings at our old apartment so I can't actually fit books on the very top like I could at our apartment so even though I have a whole new shelf I also lost three shelves so I really only gained a couple of extra shelves and I already had so many books that weren't on shelves that were just like on the floor that I'm already very quickly running out of room even though I have a whole new shelf but it is fine we are going to make it work and I'm pretty happy with how the shelves turn out at the end
so let's talk about moving i haven't shared a ton about our move because it feels like the plan has changed every single day since we made the decision so basically long story short a few months ago my husband's company closed his department and while they were able to move him to another department and he was able to keep a job it did come with a twelve thousand dollar pay cut um and that was just such a big deal to us we lived in such an expensive area and we were just on like the lower end of able to live comfortably that a pay cut that big really hurt um so we already knew that we wanted to move for a while we moved to bluffton three years ago exactly three years ago um and we moved because my parents had moved there already and we i was able to teach there without a master's and it seemed like a good idea however a few months after we moved there my dad got a new job in charlotte north carolina so they ended up leaving and we just kind of realized that we really don't like that area we're not big beach people we missed the mountains it was so expensive to live there that even though we were making good money we still felt like we weren't able to live the way that we wanted and it just wasn't the place for us so we spent like three years basically telling ourselves that we wanted to move i like my program that i was doing to teach required me to teach in the state for three years so it just seemed easier to stay there through that um so we did and then as soon as we found out about my husband's job and we realized that my three years were almost up it just seemed like the right time to start looking elsewhere unfortunately if you've looked at the housing market at all it is an absolute nightmare and so is renting our apartment that we just left is about to go to the next person for over six hundred dollars more than what we paid when we lived there and that's just insane so basically we are completely priced out of the market right now and it's been a little bit stressful but long story short we w desperately wanted to get out of Bluffton and we knew if we didn't do it now that we were just gonna get stuck there for who knows how long so my husband found a job in Charlotte um, it did fall through at to the very last minute but we had already made plans to stay with my parents for the summer to get on our feet and we had already quit our jobs and told our apartment we were moving when it fell through so we decided it was too late we were making the move anyways um, so we are up here we are looking for a job for my husband he actually has two offers right now um, that he's considering and I'm kind of figuring out what I'm gonna do I don't think I want to teach right now I would rather take some time off I don't know that I'm I'm not saying I never want to teach again but I don't want to teach next year so I'm kind of figuring out my plan I still get paid throughout the summer because I'm salaried and it's spread out through the year so we still have an income my husband's taking a couple weeks off while we kind of get ourselves settled and figured out and he kind of considers the offers that he's got and what exactly he wants to do and then we'll figure it out from there the plan is to be back in our own place by the end of august and i think that that is super achievable so that's what we're going to aim to do and for now i'm going to be doing youtube and reading and traveling because i had already made plans for a lot of traveling this summer before any of this happened because i'm used to having my summers off so I'm going to take y'all along with me for as much of it as I can, and we will have some adventures, we will do a lot of reading, and it's going to be great.
Such a fragile thing, I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm here at all And oh my love Don't worry about the cold just yet the trees haven't started to shed Just feel the summer sun As it warms our bed So the shelves were mostly done at this point. I did add a few extra little decor touches and moved a couple little things around, but this is basically where they ended up. Um, but I'll show y'all the whole finished product when I do my full bookshelf tour for these shelves. That's coming very soon. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and I will see y'all soon. Bye.